It's illegal, but definitely not a well-kept secret. Several businesses continue to rely on purchasing U.S. dollars on the black market to satisfy their import needs and ultimately keep their businesses afloat and staff on their payroll. Because while the legal dispensers of the now precious commodity are giving the average citizen maybe 200 U.S. dollars on a good day per trip, a stone's throw away on the bustling streets that make up downtown Port of Spain are a few places that you can get 500, 1,000, or even 2,000 US dollars at once. And of course, there are no signs advertising an exchange service. Instead, that transaction is done quietly at your regular retail stores. At one business place on Queen Street, this is how the conversation went. You want to sell US by chance? Yeah. Yeah. Or we can sell, sell this. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now here it appears that although his rate was originally 9 to 1, because we wanted 500 US dollars, he dropped his conversion rate to 8 to 1. But if he was willing to part with 500 US on the spot, we tried for more. So if we want a thousand US, we get a nine. Right. And if we let's say we want two thousand US, let's say five days. Yeah. We can be able to get that. Okay. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Now asking around in downtown Port of Spain, we were sent to another place on Charlotte Street known for selling US dollars. The store's rep said he was hoping to get more tomorrow and said we could get up to a thousand or maybe two thousand once he has it in hand. And there may be a reason why he's out of stock so quickly. Because while that other place was charging eight or nine TT for one US dollar. Now we were also told that some of the Chinese run establishments on Charlotte Street also sell US. But the ones we visited promptly said no. While well, one was only interested in buying. You don't sell in the US, right? Oh, no, we don't sell in the US. You don't sell? Yeah. You buy it? Okay, then, yeah. We buy sometimes. But how much do you buy? If you are 50 or 100, you know, that's 7 cents. There was no luck at some of the bars that also operate as casinos, while one popular retail store in the downtown area initially said they had US to sell, but almost in the same breath looked around the store and changed their mind. And you can't blame them for their hesitance. After all, selling foreign currency on the black market could result in fines and up to five years imprisonment. Akash Samaru, CNC3 News.